This video is brought to you by CatBeast.com. Design your own custom snapbacks and hats. It's that time of the year again, NBA fans. Madden just came out. NBA 2K15 is boring. Everyone's left, right, cheesing. You probably played with every card in the game. Haven't you? Well, have no fear, because today we have received NBA 2K16, my team new <laughs> First thing that has been confirmed is the team creator that you saw in 2K Pro-Am will also be in my team as well. So you're not going to be wearing some Laker jersey or some throwback jersey. You get to customize your own uniforms. You can choose from images they had before. You can upload your own images, which is freaking awesome because I would love to have my face on a jersey. Well, not really because I'm ugly as hell. What the fuck, bro? So they first added an interesting game mode. It's called the Gauntlet, and what it seems to be is a 3v3 short rooftop game that's gonna be up to 21, I believe. I'm still trying to get this, guys. And here's the crazy part. You're gonna be playing for actual cards, apparently. I'm gonna display this on your screen. You can see some menu. Um, you can see how the menus are looking like and all that good stuff. And it looks pretty awesome. The only reason I'm not so enthused about it is I need to know a little bit more about it. Apparently, this is gonna be a fantastic way to build up a budget squad and possibly even more. So, I'm really definitely excited about that. The next thing we're going to talk about is something that we're all familiar with, and we're talking about domination. And this year, they added historic domination, meaning you're not only playing the modern day NBA players, you got to go up against Kobe and Shaq. You might have to go up against Tracy McGrady and Yao Ming. You're going to have to go up against all of those juiced up squads that they already announced from the past, which is freaking amazing because I'm a huge fan of history, and I'm feeling kind of old now that it's now that 2000 to 2001 seems so far away to be honest there's another cool thing that they announced something called trials and if you guys have ever played destiny this might sound a little familiar but pretty much every single whenever you play a game you'll have a random chance of getting one of these and they're stat related they can be accomplished in a single game and they're fairly easy the only reason uh, the only rule is you can only use one player on your team they're gonna give this player a goal or some sort and trials can range from something as really easy like just hit four jump shots with X player to hard like get 12 rebounds and second chance points with the X harder player. the trial the more my team points you earn and this should give you a little extra something to do if you're getting bored of just playing to beat the CPU and domination. Here's the biggest news so far. I'm not going to cover bronze, silver, gold, amethysts, and all of that because we already know a good amount of that. But what I am going to cover next is something pretty cool, guys. They removed the rubies, the sapphires, and I'm not really sure, but it seems like they may have removed the diamonds as well. This has been something I've been asking for a while. What are they replacing those with? Well, they introduced moment cards. Moment cards are cards that players will receive the day after or as soon as they had an amazing game. So, Kyrie Irving's 55-point game, Terrence Ross's 51-point blow-up, stuff like that will get them a moment card with, like, crazy, super crazy stats. If you guys are... Madden Ultimate Team fans, you already are familiar with the Team of the Week promo. This is pretty much NBA 2K's Team of the Week promo, except it is not forced for them to upload or bring you guys brand new content every week. Rather, they'll give you this new content when it is deserved. And they come back and mention that throwback promos are coming back. That means the throwback packs and the onyxes are coming back, but they're not going to be classified as onyxes. On top of that, they're going to have various promos throughout the year. And this is the most important sentence. It's the final sentence in the blog, and it's, There are so many additional themes that will arrive through the season, including the return of Throwback Thursday. Meaning, they're going to have some cool promos in store for us this year, guys. So get excited. In addition to that, they have shoes that um, you can add to your players for, like, various attribute upgrades very similar to MLB 15 road to the shows of a uh, system where you could add specific gear and it boosts up player ratings and stuff like that which should be really cool because I can imagine some crazy crazy OP promo kicks that they'll put on uh, put up for these occasions but without that uh, besides that they are bringing back all new uh, they are bringing back challenges they are re uh, adding freestyle practice mode so you can practice with the squad. Um, player cards have been redesigned. They increase the amount of collector levels with more my team points and players. And they officially confirmed 
that there will be bundles this year. My team is looking lit, guys. Comment down below. Live Ultimate Team or 2K My Team? Which should be featured exclusively on my channel this year? Besides that, guys, I'm your boy, The Flight Mike, and we are just two weeks away from NBA 2K16.